Hello friends, I come to you today with partially wet, very frizzy hair. And that's because I'm gonna be cutting me some bangs today. Little backstory first, um, I wanted to do curtain bangs for, I've actually been contemplating just cutting them myself for some time now. But um, I've actually been looking at my hair length and was thinking it's time for a trim. So I was just thinking about like whether or not I wanted to go get my hair like trimmed and just have them cut me some bangs there. Or am I even going to go to a salon and get my hair trimmed or am I just going to do it myself? I'm really just like, I don't know. But I do know that it's not that hard to cut some bangs. And I found that out because my gorgeous pal Brad Mondo made it seem so easy so we're gonna be watching his tutorial today and kind of just like following that i've watched so many other tutorials and oh no i've watched other tutorials and i just feel like he was just straight to the point super easy just follow these steps boom you're done and i feel like other people you know they just kind of i feel like other people kind of just complicate it a little bit and it doesn't need to be that complicated or at least explained in a complicated way it's really easy i just want to put this out there though this is not a tutorial i don't know how my bangs are going to come out so if you're following this video i don't know how your bangs are going to come out all right so just please understand that i mean if you wish to follow by all means go right ahead okay we're gonna just get started um i just took a shower and i washed my hair you guys will be so proud of me. I did a full workout today. I went for a run. I came home, showered, did like a, my whole makeup routine. I feel so good. But anyways, um, we're gonna get started. Uh, I'm a little nervous, just a little bit, but I think we're gonna do good. I really, I really think. Okay, what do we do first, Brad? Hey, right, let's do it. Step one is gonna be to have wet hair. You're gonna want that to not be your eyes. So I'm gonna just dampen up this front section. Okay, so he, first thing he did was wet the hair, bring it all forward and then separate it. But I already have a middle part, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to perfect my middle part just to like make sure it's nice and straight. And then go ahead and wet the front pieces of my hair instead of doing the other way around because my hair is already parted. Everybody loves a good middle part these days. We all have Thank you. We're parted in the middle. I hope I haven't lost you. Not yet. yet. We're going to take the bangs back about you two might. or three inches. Okay. Up to you, depending on how so he's talking about the part. Um, depending on like how thin you want your bangs to be or how thick, that's how far back you're gonna go. He said he went about two to three inches back. Wait, is that what yeah. he said? We're gonna take the bangs back about two or three. Yeah, two or three inches, which I don't have a ruler, so I don't know. I'm not gonna go too far back because I don't want my bangs to just like, I don't want to have like half my, my hair as bangs. And I am going to take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. Okay, I'm going to start right here, which seems like a decent two inches or so. And he said he went all the way to the end of her eyebrow. Um, I drew my eyebrows on, so they're a little longer than they naturally are. But I'm going to try to follow my natural, like where my natural eyebrow ends. I don't know. Okay, sectioned off the hair. I I went about up to like my baby hairs, which I think is kind of like where my the arch of my brow is. I don't want them to be too thick or too thin, so I think this is a good a good um a good amount. I'm gonna start pushing my hair back and do the other side. Okay, now that Brad Mondo has this out here looking silly, he said if I twist, it should give me like a little triangle. And then this other side, I don't know if it's as straight, but should give me somewhat of a triangle. We are going to comb this section nicely. Okay, okay nicely really combing, really nicely combing. We get all those tangles out, make sure it's still wet. We are actually going to take this entire section and move on. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> right under the cheekbones for the curve. That's usually a good point to start with. You can always go shorter, you can't go longer. All right, so I'm going to start off a little bit longer. Okay, so he said he went up to her nose. I feel like that's a little too short for me, so I'm gonna go a little underneath the nose, just because, as he just said, you can cut off more hair, but you can't put more hair back on. So, I don't know if that's what his exact words, but you get what I'm saying. First nip, here we go. Oh, shit. God. Now, you're doing a great job. I can see you following along, and I am so damn proud of you. I'm doing my I best. Did you did your first snip. This is going to be a home run, okay, for both of us. It's going to look beautiful. So we're going to part the hair. Then we're going to over-direct the hair across the 
other side opposite of where the part is. We're also gonna make sure our fingers are parallel to the section up here. Okay. So you're getting this one. So apparently he's saying that we're gonna take like this section and go diagonal, so go across. But make sure that it's like our fingers are parallel with the with the part. So if that makes sense, like okay. Let me show you that again. Pick up the hair. I hold it parallel to the parting, and then I hold my fingers parallel to the parting. So you're gonna get something like that, where it goes from short to long. And now all we have to do. Okay, I see the short to long. Um, one of the hairs is like too short to even. <laughs> I don't know how. Anyways, okay. Now all we have to do. Cut those pieces. Say less. Okay, so this is how this side is looking. Um, it's hard to tell, but there is a little bit of like a going. Pull this side back. I'm gonna try to do this side um, and hope that it's even. Which I cut a little bit more off of this side. I, like I, I realized I went too far down, um, or like it was just too long. So I cut a little bit more, and I'm gonna try to cut the same amount on this side. I don't know if it will be that way though. Let's hope so. But okay. What the heck is happening up there? Okay, a couple sides. Um this next step will help me determine, but um he said to basically just like bring both sides for or both like pieces of both sides forward to make sure they're the same length. So I'm gonna do that. I think he mentioned to do that before. But I didn't think I needed to, and now I'm realizing that I'm gonna need to. The bangs are cut. Uh, they're pretty even. I say pretty even because I did a half ass job trying to make sure they were even, so I'm just gonna assume that they're pretty even. Um, I think there's, is there more to this video? I think the rest of the tutorial is him just like styling the hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go style my hair and be right back so you guys can see how it looks. Ooh, I kinda wanna do one of those like oh, transitions where like I cover the camera and it just, okay, I'm gonna do that. Cause you know, we're gonna be transforming, kind of, I don't know. Ta-da. Okay friends, so this is how the bangs look styled. Um, it's a couple days later to be honest. As soon as I finished filming, um, I went to the bathroom and I was just like, you know, double checking, looking, and then I realized that they were not one they weren't even at all but two it was just so choppy so i trimmed like one side a little bit more then realized that like when i put them back down now this side was shorter than this side so then i had to go on this side and trim and it was a lot of trimming it was a lot of trimming that i did a lot of frustration but um low-key i still think i'm gonna go just have them fix it at a salon or something they don't look bad at all don't get me wrong but they only look nice when my hair is styled which isn't all the time so i'm just like okay like when i wake up in the morning horrible like this morning i was walking around the house and i looked in the mirror um because we have like this big body mirror i walked past the mirror and i saw myself and i was just like this is sad like my bangs are so choppy they're so damn choppy they don't like fall gracefully they're like so that's great and they're not as bad as i thought they were gonna be i thought they were gonna be a lot worse so pat myself on the back for that one i am gonna still have them go in and just like texturize the ends and also i need a trim anyway so i'm gonna have them do all of that but given the fact that i've never done curtain bangs before well actually i feel like i have like i've done curtain bangs not on myself obviously but like i've had them um, I, I just thought they were just like face framing layers. And here comes the real moment of truth. Testing my glasses. So here we go. I'm getting strong librarian vibes right now. <laughs> I love this. It's so cute. I feel like I'm channeling my inner Jessica Day. I'm low-key here for it. There you have it, friends. We got curtain bangs now. And by we, I mean me, because I really hope you did not follow this video. And if you did, I hope that it came out better than mine but thank you so much for watching friends i hope you enjoyed and i hope you're staying safe and staying healthy and i also hope to see you in my next video bye